well, we had this brilliant venue that was sitting here right on our doorstep, which could allow us to show the images we are creating in Dundee at Life Sciences together with the images of space and bring both themes together. And here was the opportunity to build an exploration space that allowed everyone to see what we can show, what we are researching in, in a stunning, beautiful way that allows everyone to enjoy it. Now the Mills Observatory were planning to replace their rather old planetarium with something new anyway. And here was a chance for us to bring the collaboration with the different departments and schools of the university together to build this high-tech system that allowed us to show images not only from space, not only the stars, but also the images from life sciences that we want to explore. Now once we had the idea, it was time to speak to the people who were actually going to use this new exploration space. So I spoke to teachers, I spoke to community groups, we did site visits to see what could be done to make it a big exploration space that everyone could use. And it would also need um, to have a big enough screen that allowed an immersive experience of the images we would produce. So after these initial interviews, we built a little model, we showed um, plans, uh, drawings of all the ideas we had to interested parties, and then started to get a joiner to actually build a big screen, get monitors, get um, projectors out there to build this kind of cinematic experience that allows you to immerse yourself in the pictures. Going from observing things, looking at space, big space, small spaces, microscopic spaces, we can go now to the next step. The possibilities are endless. We can start creating things, get people in to build their own world they can then explore. We all have heard of Minecraft as the new teaching tool for anyone. The possibilities are endless.